All right, guys, imagine you're playing the game. Something happens that's just terrible, and you go into a fit of rage. You know, you know how it is. And you want to show that on your stream, or you want your chat to be able to interact with your stream. You can have a command that can change your overlay that your chat uses, like my stream. Or you can use an Elgato stream deck or a key on your keyboard to transition over to a custom overlay like this. And I'm going to show you how to do that right here uh, i'm so pissed off uh, you know so maybe you're having like the best game ever and then something happens or your game crashes and you're mad and you want to show it and this is the overlay i created this overlay people love it uh people have um used it a lot people have abused it and made me even more mad it's all in good fun but uh continue watching and i'm going to show you how to make this overlay right here you guys can use whatever you want, but I've chosen to use the 4kdownload.com to download YouTube videos. Um, don't worry, the YouTube videos that I download are completely free. Um, I go free green screens. You have a lot of these free green screens that you can use on your stream. And there's so many, there's so many things you can do with them, like a bullet flying into you, smoke. So for this one, we're going to go to cartoon effects. And I think this is the one that I downloaded. You go over here. There's a few of them that I've used on my stream. Um, I've used the idea one. I used this crying one. I use the uh, one I call the cool effect. Uh, I use this one for when I'm knocked out in Player Unknown Battlegrounds or Apex. Um, and then I've got this one that I use for when I'm upset and it comes out of my ears. And I'm going to show you guys how I use these. I'm going to open this with adobe premiere i know that a lot of you may not have adobe premiere you can use any video editing software i think you can even use vlc media player uh, you play it and you hit record i'm going to use premiere pro premiere pro is great for video editing um any type of video editing it does not have the power that after effects does as far as like adding motion and flying text and and things like that, but um, definitely, we'll just put a mad face. <clears throat> New project. Okay, so you will go to import. Um, we'll import the green screen effect. Drag it over. Or just double click it. It'll move it over here. This is where you can play and edit the ins and outs of the video. So. I don't want any of the audio from this. I only want one thing. And we want what we want is this cartoon right here. So I'm going to go to the beginning of it. These are where you keyframe. This is where you mark things. So like you've got your play button. You've got like your step forward one frame. You've got your out, go to, out, go to, in. Um, but right here, mark in. You know, you have quick keys, I and O for those. But you hit. you can hit I or you can just click this button. And that'll mark where the video clips the beginning. And then you hit play until you're done. And you clip the out. So my beginning looked, I want the out to look very much like the beginning. The beginning looks like it looks, I'm gonna kind of memorize that shape, move over until I get the exact same shape, which is about right here, I'm thinking, and clip it out. So. Bring that down here. We've we've dragged the clip in, clipped out the area that we want, and now we want to get rid of the audio. You can also import your own custom audio here and just drag it down here and edit it as you see fit, stretch it, whatever you need to do. But we're just going to go over uh, the area where you control all of your, all of your um, items that are over here is here and you go over to the audio clip. Here's your DB. We're just gonna turn it all the way down. Um, 
now you can't hear the audio. There's probably other ways of doing it. There's there's really like a million ways to do everything in these Adobe products, and some ways are faster, some ways are better or worse. But as long as you get the desired effect, it doesn't really bother me too much. Go to export media. H264 uh, is a great format. That's the one I like to use. It's just smaller, um, doesn't create gigantic files typically. So I can queue it into my, my, uh, my render or I can just export it directly. So I'm going to output it to the desktop and put um, smoking ears and export it. So that didn't take very long. So now in OBS, you go to your OBS, you add your uh, <clears throat> video capture device, which is your webcam. I'm just going to go ahead and add the one I've already got here. Um, this is my low-end camera. I'm just doing this for the tutorial. I have a, uh, a better camera that I use when I'm streaming. I'm using a little Logitech. There's my uh, Sony a6000, which makes a really crisp image. But I'm just using a regular uh, Logitech webcam for this demonstration. Okay. Now, you could just add, you could just take your webcam and, um, and add a filter to it and, and, and affect the color here. But I'm going to show you how we're going to get that result without messing up every camera and all of our scenes at once. Create a new scene. Just call it Mad Scene or whatever you want. We're going to add a video capture device. Add your webcam. You can make it any size because you're going to resize it in the final scene. So you can make it big. It's probably better that you do. Uh, we'll go to filters and then add color correction. And this is where we will up the saturation quite a bit. This looks a lot better on my better camera with the better lighting. I'm not sure why it's so grainy right now, but um, we'll go back to the lobby. We'll delete my regular. So just assume that this is going to be your, I mean, you could make a new scene just called, you know, Mad Scene Main and add your scene, not your video capture device. And you're going to add the mad scene that you created. Then you're going to size this down. Then you'll add a media source. Uh, we'll call it the smoking ears. Loop it. Browse. Get the smoking ears. Hit OK. We're going to add a chroma key to this. So you know that I'm, I'm just right clicking on this and then going to filters, then adding a chroma key, hitting OK. Size this down. Just kind of slide it down, get it the right size. So then you have me angry with a red face. It's a cool effect, you know, it's funny. Um, you can, in my stream, I have it set up so that the viewers can change my overlay to this by typing in a command. So if I get upset and I'm mad at the game, they type out, you know, goblin mad, switches over to this scene, and then it shows me being upset, which is kind of funny. Sometimes people can use it in a kind of a trolley way. So it's usually in good humor. If it ever gets out of hand, there was one time where I was actually mad and I had to like disable the command for a little bit because I didn't want... <laughs> I didn't want to see myself steaming on my, on my stream, but um, it's a cool effect. Um, I'll get more into how I get my chat to transition my scenes and other things. I use a bot for that. There's a few bots that you can use that do that. I use DeepBot. Um, I know that uh, some people have told me some other bots uh, work for the same thing. They can actually control your OBS scenes. So 
This is the mad scene. And what you could do is um, you could duplicate this. You, you would duplicate your main scene maybe to make it, but you could duplicate this and, um, and rename it and take off the, the effects, you know, maybe add a regular webcam in, um, you know, take off the smoking ears and, you know, add a, uh, a regular video capture device, webcam new, and put it down there and size it in the same place. Um, like this so that the transition is seamless. So that way, that way you can have, you're like this, you're playing your game and then uh, you hit a button on your Elgato to change your scene and boom, you're mad, you know? You lose the game, some, something happens and then you're like, and you're raging and then you've got steam coming out of your ears and, and your face is red. And I did all of this just by adding a color correction to a scene with my camera placed in it, and also with um, getting a, a free green screen effect off of YouTube, which there's a million on there, and then editing out the, the exact effect I wanted and putting it on loop. Uh, and there you have it. There's the Mad DZ scene. This was my second tutorial on YouTube on how to make custom overlays that make your stream more creative. If you guys uh, like this tutorial, please subscribe and comment below and let me know what you would like to see or if there's an effect you've seen and you'd like to know how to do it. And uh, please stay tuned because I'm going to be trying to come out with a new video at least uh, once a week uh, showing you different effects that, that you can make. Uh, and I will get into some more complicated things as, as I go. Uh, and I will show you guys some some more difficult, way more difficult things. I'll show you one right now. Um, just to show you guys some of the things that uh, that I've done. I've got a uh, disappearance. Pretty simple. And then I've got one that returns me back for when I come back. Um, got the parachute in scene for, for when I'm playing uh, PUBG. I jumped out of a plane. Got a lot of vehicles, like uh, the boat. The sidecar, that's my brother. We play together in PUBG, so he's, he's driving. I actually photoshopped that of him sitting on a wall. Uh, we've got Falcor. I've got a ghillie suit overlay for when I've got the ghillie suit in the game. Firework effects that I've added whenever uh, something would happen in the game. We've got van. There's a van one for the uh, Miramar map on PUBG. I've got a camping overlay that my chat likes to initiate when I've been camping in the uh, game I'm playing. I've got this one. It's a recorded image of my hand squishing myself and reducing my camera. And then you could also take that a step further and add a voice effect that makes your voice very uh, high pitched. I've got this one. It chops off my head. Chat controls it. They use points in the chat to execute me. This was one I did for Halloween where I put my head on a baby pumpkin. And it has my old DZ logo on there. Here's one where uh, I get abducted by aliens and sometimes they miss. Like this one. It'll hit in different locations each time. So the chat uses their points to try and abduct me as an alien. And eventually, they hit me. In incoming probes right here. They, the chat loves to remind me of the probes that are incoming.
We've got uh, King DZ here. Naruto. Got a missile launch. Launches a missile at me. Then it comes down. Sometimes it hits me, blows me up. Sometimes it misses. I've got birds that fly over and possibly shit on me. Chad loves that one too. For when I die, people can change me to the ghost scene, which also has like a graveyard sound effect. One of my, uh, one of my newer overlays that people really love is the limo. So I drive in on this limo. I tell people that I'm that I'm streaming from inside and, and they should jump in and we'll go for a ride, play some games. And I can sit here and chat for as long as I want and I have a button that rolls up the window and drives off when I'm ready to go. So I'll tell the chat, you know, like, hey, I've got to go. It's been good talking to you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Okay. So I showed you guys a lot of the different overlays that I've used, and I really enjoyed making them. Uh, people come into my chat all the time and ask me how I made these overlays. So, um, and it has been suggested to me a few times that I should do tutorials. So last week I posted a tutorial on doing the ET overlay and how I did it and how to mask out the camera. And this week I did a tutorial on finding a green screen video on YouTube, editing it, placing it in your in your scene and doing a color correction to your camera to make you look red and mad. So next week I'll be doing something probably a little bit more complicated. Perhaps I'll show you guys how I do some automatic scene transitions. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments section below. If you really like this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be trying to add more of these videos. Um, and thank you for watching. And um, have a good day. Right, Zoe? Bye.